In the early 20th century, the skies were filled with dreams and daring experiments. Long before the word drone entered our vocabulary, inventors imagined flying eyes capturing the world below. Aerial photography started with pigeons, balloons, and planes. But in 1915, German engineer Julius Neubronner mounted a camera on a pigeon, creating one of the earliest flying cameras. During World Wars I and II, reconnaissance planes soared. They weren't drones yet, but they sparked the need for remote, uncrewed eyes in the sky. In the 1950s, the U.S. began testing UAVs, unmanned aerial vehicles for military surveillance. One of the earliest was the radio plane OQ-2, guided by radio waves. The Ryan Model 147 was the first UAV to carry advanced cameras during the Vietnam War. This marked the beginning of camera-equipped drones for real-time war intelligence. By the 1990s, the idea of putting cameras on small, remote-controlled aircraft caught the attention of hobbyists, researchers, and journalists. In 1999, Canadian company Dragonfly released the first commercial drone with a camera, the Dragonflyer. It became a pioneer in aerial videography and search and rescue. Then came DJI. With models like the Phantom and Mavic, they brought stabilized, high-definition aerial cameras to the masses, revolutionizing photography forever. Today, drone cameras are used for everything, from cinema to climate monitoring, search and rescue to personal vlogging. The sky is no longer the limit, it's the canvas. From pigeons to precision machines, the evolution of aerial photography mirrors our urge to see more, to know more. The first drone camera wasn't just a device, it was a lens into the future.